Hello, Evan Rand here, and I thought uh, today I'd do a quick video on whether or not you should get yourself a Hercules uh, drill or driver here. Again, these are Harbor Freight tools, and at least for those who know who Harbor Freight is or what Harbor Freight is, uh, you know their reputation for quality tools is less than uh, stellar, shall we say. However, as of late, uh, Harbor Freight has been uh, releasing a few new tools here, namely their Hercules branded uh, cordless tools here. And uh, they claim to be, you know, as good as, say, some of the name brand tools, uh, you know, Milwaukee or DeWalt. So, uh, for those who watched my last two videos, we kind of put them through the test. Uh, both of them held up quite well. Um, and since then, too, I've used both of these quite a bit, and they have held up quite well. I uh, haven't had any issues. They've performed, I would say, uh, probably about the same as the, uh, the drill, about the same as the walk here. Again, this driver's not going to perform the same as my big DeWalt. You know, it's just a bigger drill. So, uh, the compact driver here probably outperforms both the DeWalt and the Milwaukee, quite uh, surprisingly. Um, I think the whole issue here is going to be how long do these last? Um, are these going to last as long as the Milwaukee and the DeWalt? Uh, the DeWalt here, at least my DeWalt, is probably four or five years old, maybe six. I'm not even sure. I'd have to go look. Uh, still going strong yet. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, a great, great drill. Can't recommend it enough if you're looking for a big drill. Uh, this is a 985, a DCD 985 half inch drill. Uh, it's the big boy. Uh, comes with a hammer function as well, a drill, hammer, and a screwing function. Uh, the mock here, just uh, just a drill function and uh, you know, for putting screws in. Uh, they do have a drill, uh, Hercules has a drill that has a hammer function as well. Um, I didn't decide to purchase that one. And uh, one thing I would say too, if you're going to get these, you know, try to get a coupon for them. You can get, uh, you know, 10, 20 bucks off and get them even cheaper yet. So, should you get one? I think that depends on what you're going to do with it here, folks. Uh, if you're a DIYer and you do a lot of stuff, probably not the best choice for you. You're probably better off going with a better, better brand, uh, DeWalt or Milwaukee. But if you're more of the once in a while do-it-yourselfer, uh, you know, every now and then, boy, it's nice to have a cordless tool. This is probably where this falls in, I would say. Uh, you know, it's good enough. It seems like it's going to last. Again, I'll, uh, I'll be uh, using these, and uh, we'll see once if that's the case or not. But uh, that, if you ask me, is where these fall in. Not, you know, not definitely not for the professional or the uh, person that uh, does a lot. But uh, for the person that does it every now and then, you know, you, you got to have a cordless drill. You want to have a cordless drill or uh, impact. Uh, that is where these come in. And again, uh, if you haven't uh, tried an impact before, these are really, really nice. Hopefully I demonstrated that in my uh, last video. If folks haven't seen that, I'll try to remember to put uh, links for both of those videos where I test both the drills and the uh, compacts. Uh, yeah, these impacts are really, really nice to have. Uh, Price-wise, these two are definitely gonna be cheaper. And you know, if you're gonna buy a drill, I would suggest getting uh, one of the impacts too. They are really nice. And if you do buy the impact, that way you'll get a second battery. Uh, whatever you get, I would always suggest having two batteries. Uh, you're not going to be able to count the number of times where two batteries is going to save. It's like, oh crap, battery's dead. Grab your other battery. Uh, that's probably my one complaint with this. Both of these sets, they only come with one battery. But if you get both of them, then you have two batteries. Uh, same thing with the Milwaukee here. Uh, it only comes with one battery, but if you get the set, you get a battery for this and a battery for this. So two batteries. And then uh, same thing with my uh, DeWalt here as well. Uh, my DeWalt came with two batteries, and then now I have the Impact as well, so that uses one battery. So again, technically I have two batteries. Actually, I have a third battery if I count my big battery, which uh, fits both of those. So kind of sort of have three batteries for the DeWalts, but uh, I would definitely highly suggest having two batteries. So if you only do get the drill, uh, so you just want to get the drill, I would suggest purchasing another battery separately. Uh, they do sell the batteries separately. That's probably one thing that's going to be the biggest difference between the Hercules and the other brands here. Uh, the Hercules, brand, Hercules branded batteries are, I would say, reasonably priced. And that might be a bad thing. Maybe they don't last as long, I don't know. But uh, if you go to buy a DeWalt battery, folks, wow, they are bloody expensive. Same thing for the, uh, the uh, Milwaukee as well, depending on what battery you get. The batteries are definitely where the money is at with a tool. Uh, this drill probably costs half the price of what the battery on it does. So something to uh, keep in mind here. Let's see what's here. Uh, on that uh, performance of these, like I said, folks, the performance is, I would say, on par with these at this point. Uh, we'll see once in the future if that continues to be the case. 
But at least at this point, uh, performance is on par. Again, Impact uh, definitely seems to outperform both the DeWalt and Milwaukee, quite surprisingly. Uh, the drill here, uh, it's, it's on par, I would say, with the Milwaukee here. It maybe does a little bit better than the Milwaukee. And again, I think that's, this is a 20-volt system. The Milwaukee I have here is 18-volt system. Uh, the uh, DeWalt here is a 20 volt system as well. Uh, by the way, for those of you wondering, uh, does the DeWalt battery here, if I get it off, does the DeWalt battery fit on the Hercules? Well, not quite. It just about fits. Uh, you can see the light comes on, so it is making contact, but uh, it doesn't uh, turn, so I don't, there's probably some electronic, uh, well, actually, I know there's electronic communication between the battery and the drill, and that's probably what's preventing it from running. So you cannot use a uh, DeWalt battery on a Hercules, and I would assume the same vice versa. I haven't obviously tried that, but I would have to assume you cannot use a Hercules battery on a DeWalt. At least I would not think so anyway. But it is rather interesting. The light does come on, so it tells you it does have juice. But uh, again, the batteries do talk to each other, you know, telling the drill, hey, whoa, whoa, got to shut off for this where we're at, you know and what's connected and whatnot. So anyway, folks, I think we'll uh, wrap it up here. Like I said, just a quick video. Again, my opinion, these are probably more for the once in a while do-it-yourselfers. Uh, you know, you, you do a little bit of work, but not much. That's probably the perfect choice for you. Uh, if you do a lot of work, probably not the good choice for you. Or, I mean, these are probably a good choice for you, not these. Uh, and again, at least for as, far as, as far as Harbor Freight goes, I probably won't buy their cheaper power tool, or their cordless tools. Harbor Freight does sell cheaper um, tools or battery operated tools. Uh, those are definitely less than stellar. Um, I did purchase one one time to, uh, it's kind of for a disposable job. I did not want to get my DeWalt in it. It's like, wow, if something goes wrong, I'm going to wreck my DeWalt. It's like, eh, maybe I'll just go get a cheap Harbor Freight drill. And, you know, I think, what did I pay, like 15 bucks for it? Uh, you can definitely tell there's a reason why it was 15 bucks, folks. But it, it did the job I needed to do. And uh, yeah, like I said, I did not want to wreck that, my uh, D-Wall drill with that job. So that's why you might as well spend 15 bucks to get a cheap drill. And then if I wreck it, oh well, I don't care. You know, whereas if I wreck this drill, might care about that. So I think that's it, folks. Uh, if folks have any comments or questions or you want to have any input on this, make sure you put it in the comments below. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching and until next time.